This tutorial will show you how to import an asset from your computer that you made into the Unity game engine. In order to import our asset into the Unity game engine, we would go to Assets and then Import New Asset. Once there, you'll be prompted to select from your file browser which asset you would like to import. When you found that asset, please double click on it and it will be imported into your, into your Unity Assets folder. As you can see here, I have imported this uh, graphic. Now I'm actually going to change a few of the settings to what you will see. When you first import, let's say a 2D graphic, you will see the texture type most likely set to texture by default. I'm going to apply this. So if you brought in a 2D graphic, this is what you'll see. Now I'm going to show you how to take this 2D uh, image that you imported and intended to be used as a sprite sheet, uh, which has multiple sprites in one image and to actually uh, convert this from the type, the default type to actually what you need it to be. So here instead of texture, I'm going to select Sprite, 2D, and UI. I'm also going to change the Sprite mode to multiple. After that, I could come down here and click Apply. Now, it'll take a second, but once this gets going, you'll notice that I now see this. So now I could jump into the Sprite Editor. Next, I could come down here to slice, and I'm going to want to slice these. That's also going to take a second for Unity to cut out my objects. Once it does, you'll notice that each of your objects has a box around it. If one of the boxes doesn't completely uh, include one of the sprites that you want, you could simply click and readjust with these little sliders here. But as you can see, each of my sprites is encased by one of these boxes. Everywhere where you see a box is going to be sliced out when we come up here and hit apply. We can now X out of that sprite editor. And as you'll see, I have each of my individual sprites stored under the sprite sheet. It's very easy to add them into our game now. I would simply drag and drop them into the scene, and then I could just scale them based on what I need. Now, I'm going to delete that sprite, and I'm also going to delete this cube. So in this example, I've created a simple sprite sheet, which I made in Photoshop. And please note that I made the background transparent and saved the file as a PNG before importing it into Unity. Now, another common way that it's taught to import files into Unity is to open up your file browser and to drag and drop the file into Unity, into the Assets folder. While this works, it is definitely not preferred practice and you're much better off going to Assets, Import New Asset, and then navigating to that file in the browser that comes up. It's a lot better practice and you could avoid a lot of issues with imports by using this method.